Good day to you creatures of the multiverse, I'm N Sega, and recently I made a video about Tombi for the PlayStation. In short, I absolutely loved it. Sure, there are some minor nitpicks to be had, but they're minor nitpicks, and they don't damage my love for the game in any way. And then Whoopi Camp made a sequel to Tombi. And then they went bankrupt. And now I'm sad. There isn't too much to say about gameplay considering I reviewed the first game already. Tombi 2 is the same role playing and dimension swapping Metroidvania kind of game. But with more exploration as there are more areas to see and in new locations. And you can explore in a more 3D-esque way than the first game. Even though it's not fully 3D, it's hard to explain. I'm going to call it 2.6D for now. But the important thing is, you still get to see the 100 year old wise man and that makes everything better. There are some new costumes that you can retrieve that either give you a gliding ability or a disguise. I will mention though that Tombi on his own does feel slower and heavier than in the first game. Which yes, does feel more suited to this game, given the new, sort of new direction. But it's, it's rather inconvenient at times. I feel like there's a lot more to talk about in Tombi 2 when it comes to the presentation. Most character interactions are now voiced, and it's actually confirmed that the protagonist's name is pronounced as Tombi, to which I say, cool story. The art style from the first game has been scrapped, and now, everything is 3D. Yeah. Rather than the mix of models and sprites in the first game, Tombi 2 is made entirely of 3D models. And how do I feel about it? Well, I like it. It certainly looks clean and fits more to the level design of Tombi 2. Since, you know, this game utilises the mechanic of dimension switching more, like I said. I just prefer the style of the original, I just think it looks nicer generally. Maybe because that's the way this kind of thing, like the character and all that was designed? I, I don't know. I do like that Tombi 2 makes an effort to be different from the first game, in a way that you can easily tell the two apart and see them both as their own adventures. As for this game's soundtrack, it's good. There are some relaxing, upbeat and funky tracks, but I only really can remember a few of them. I listen to Tombi 2's soundtrack a fair bit, not just in the game, and most of it is just background music to me. That isn't necessarily bad per se, but compared to the first Tombi where I can remember many of the tracks, as well as many of the areas they belong to, it's a bit of a step down. Hell, I actually tested it out by getting my friend Cal Geeks out to get me to guess three songs from each game. And I was going to put it in this video, but it drags on and isn't very entertaining, I, I would imagine. But basically, I, even if not 100% confident in my answers, I knew what all of them were for the first game, and knew one of them for Tombi 2. So, yeah. I don't have a way to end this segment. So, yeah, in summary, I love Tombi 2, but not nearly as much as the first. So, in conclusion, Tombi 2, I've said that goddamn title six times now, 
despite my nitpicking because of comparing it to the first game, is damn good. I know I didn't have as much to say about this one in comparison to Tombi, but that's because in the last episode I spoke about Tombi.